Hello, I'm Nathan with theebookreader.com. I wanted to go ahead and put together a PDF specific review for the new Kindle Voyage. So if you guys wanted to see the main review for the Kindle Voyage, check that one out. Uh, for this one, I'm just going to talk about PDFs on here, how the uh, device handles PDFs and the different features because there's always people wondering about it. And especially with the new higher resolution screen, uh, the PDFs actually do have uh, more of a use on this device because it really does render the text really clear with that 300 uh, pixel per inch screen. I don't know how well it's going to show up on the camera here. It doesn't seem to be focusing that great. but uh, So let's go ahead and talk about the reading features as far as like zooming features. So we can double tap on like an, a selection there and it will like get rid of the margins. And then uh, if you do that way, uh, you can turn the pages and it will maintain the zoom level and it will go from top to bottom the page so uh, with these page button here you can use those or you can tap the screen the problem is when you use this auto zoom feature anytime it comes in there's any kind of variation in text size like right there at like the then it goes ahead and readjusts the zoom level and it kind of messes things up uh, so then it'll sometimes reset uh, so it can kind of vary as far as uh, the zoom level goes with that because it just sort of depends on the exact PDF. If it's just standard laid out text, then it stays the same level. But anytime you have any kind of variation, it gets kind of confused and you got to kind of back out of it. So another example of when it does that is like when you're using uh, two column PDFs. So two columns are kind of cool because if you just double tap right there, you'll get to the top column and then it will zoom in on that level and then it will scroll through the page top to bottom and then it will actually even go over it knows that it's a two column PDF and it will go over to the next column and then it stays it keeps the zoom level as you're turning pages but then the only problem is is like I said if you have any kind of variation in the formatting of the text uh, when you're using that auto zoom level then it will get really strange here in a moment so like this next page has sometimes it does that too where it kind of slows down so the next page had different size text so then it zooms in all strange instead of just maintaining the column view. So it does have some limitations as far as that zoom level is concerned. Okay, so other zoom level options, you can use pinch zooming. So uh, then you can zoom in as much as you want. Uh, the one thing with pinch zooming is you then have to use the scrolling around the screen because um, when you turn the page, it will reset the zoom level back to the zoomed out level. So uh, it will go just like that. So you gotta go ahead and then just pan around the page when you use the zoom in level zoom in mode. So the panning is pretty smooth really. Enters partial refresh mode. So the good thing about the 300 ppi screen is that the fine detail is really clear on these the small text for PDFs. I'm kind of amazed by how clear it is actually uh, and the front light keeps it like illuminated even better. I don't know how well it's going to show up on the camera but the, even that small fine text right there looks really good. And then there's also this setting up here in the settings menu where you can go ahead and adjust the darkness of the text so you can uh, it's just sort of default is like right there it doesn't seem like it's quite as dark as it used to be at the fullest setting but then you can also adjust the margins down here I don't know why you'd want the margins any bigger on a PDF but there's the option to do so and then uh, that's pretty much it for the display setting options um, there's no other kind of like preset zoom levels or anything like that just the pinch zooming and then like the double tap okay so we've got landscape mode of course uh, the Kindles have landscape mode and that does work pretty well for displaying the PDF and it's a regular a non zoomed out format because it fits more to the screen with that mode right there. It looks pretty good actually. As you can see the Kindle is pretty zippy as far as turning pages are on the PDFs. It doesn't bog down as much as some devices do. So all the usual dictionary features work and stuff like if you hold down on a word it brings up the dictionary, brings up the highlighting. Sometimes it can be a little more erratic just the way the PDFs are. Uh, you can also use the usual translations and Wikipedia reference and then it even works if you're like zoomed in. You can also access those on-screen features. It actually works a little better when you're zoomed in because uh, it's easier to hit and it's easier to tell where to compute. So one thing I noticed about navigation is it doesn't have that little uh, fast page scan and chapter skipping feature like it does for ebooks that you scroll up right here. Um, it just has the go to page feature right there and um, then you can use the table of contents to jump around the part of the page so or the part of the book. So just as a quick look at a comic, I just wanted a little comic on here really quick. This particular one, it doesn't lay out very good for being able to read the text balloons in portrait mode, but once you switch over to landscape, uh, it works out just about perfect. One weird thing I noticed with landscape on this device is the, the uh, page sensor buttons. They're actually deactivated in landscape mode, so you have to use the touch screen. But yeah, in that mode, the screen actually looks quite good, and it's easy to read.
this is a 90 megabyte PDF I like to test out on devices just to see how fast it works and I mean it is quick for turning pages and um, it does look really good it doesn't need to be zoomed in to be able to read any of this but you can go ahead and print and zoom it in if you want so I wanted to quickly load up the same PDF on the Kindle Paperwhite and the Kindle Voyage just to see what they look like in person. In person you can see kind of a lot of difference. I mean it's a lot clearer. It's amazing how um, much clearer it is on the uh, Voyage. I mean the darks are darker. Um, it's not like any easier to read. I don't know but it just seems fuzzier on the Paperwhite screen. I know it's not going to show up on the camera but um, it's definitely clearer with the higher resolution screen on the Kindle Voyage just the way everything lays out. I mean with images everything's darker and the fine detail with the text is just uh, clearer. It just kind of looks fuzzier on the paper white screen. Uh, so you definitely see an improvement on PDFs with the Voyage as far as that goes. One weird thing is I was comparing page turns. I mean there's really virtually no difference in speed between these two guys. It's like anytime you interact with anything it's basically the same speed. So Okay folks, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this PDF review right here. Check out the ebookreader.com. I'll have some more information associated uh, with the written review and uh, you can do some comparisons if you want because I got PDF reviews uh, of the other e-readers like Kobo e-readers and it shows these same exact PDFs if you just want to kind of compare performance and reading features. So uh, check that out and thank you guys for watching.